many brothers and sisters. Normally, before entering a house, we need to ring a bell. Many Hindu temples has bells at the entrance, and devotees would ring a bell as they enter the temple for worship. It is literally true that they ring the bell, and we would ring the doorbell before enter someone's house. The bells in Hindu temples are meant to wake up the gods. In most Catholic churches, we ring the bell at the beginning of the mass and several times during the Eucharist prayer. The bell room is not meant to wake up God, but perhaps it's meant to wake up people who are asleep. In the gospel story of today, it seems that. Jesus also needed a alarm bell to be wake up. At the invitation of Jesus, the apostles made the crossing of the lake on boat. Jesus is there in the boat, but he is hidden because he is asleep. A storm break out. Jesus is there, but asleep. The apostle panic, but God is there; He is hidden. It seems that things have gone out of control, but God is there, and He is in control. The reaction of apostles surprised Jesus, because. They are overcome by fear. Fear is the absence of faith. They have not yet understood the secrets of the kingdom. The secret of the kingdom is there in the person of Jesus Christ, but he might lie hidden. In the Old Testament, Prophet Isaiah cries out. Truly, O God of Israel, you are a God who lies hidden. Job, overwhelmed by his own suffering, unable to bear the mockery of his own wife and friends, seemed to have doubts about the presence of God in his life. And part of the answer of Job, and part of the answer of God to Job. Was that we heard in the first reading of today, and in the gospel text of today, the apostles question Jesus, Teacher, do you not care? We are going down. They don't realize that if the boat should really go down, it would be Jesus who will be first to go down. Because he is slain, they do not know that Jesus could do something to save them. Yet the faith is not strong enough to believe that Jesus could do something even when he is asleep. Yes, fear is the opposite of faith. And where is a tactic of surrender to the presence of the unseen God? So Jesus commands the storm, "Quiet now, be still." This command is not just to the storm, but to the apostles. Let nothing perturb you. Why are you terrified? Have you still no faith? If I am asleep, does it mean that I am not powerful? If my father seems hidden, does it mean that he is not there? If life seems difficult, does it mean that 
I have abandoned you, be calm. Everything is under control. When Jesus calmed the storm, the disciple was turned by the miracle. Although they personally knew who Jesus was, they were quite impressed by his power of controlling the elements. This miracle revealed the humanity of the deity of the Lord Jesus. When Jesus was asleep in the term of the world, the disciples witnessed his humanity. When Jesus spoke in the s e c o n d they g r e w e d his deity. Through the story of the apostles, we think of our story. Each time when celebrating the Mass, we call our Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We're engaging in the same activity at the, the, at the disciple in the world who called on him when they were frightened. We move a true life at r i s e n not just as a bunch of individuals, but as a community that is cared for by the law. The disciples in the boat calling on the law remind us that we are we are a community who call upon the law to help us in. Our difficulty. We all experience moments in life when we are wondering if the Lord Jesus is sleeping, if He s h e a r our prayers, if He actually cares about our welfare. Why? Because we are weak in the flesh. We easily weak and cry that. The law is not paying attention to our prayers. Our p r a y e our c r i s t my God, fulfill our faith and manifest His glory through our life. Amen. Let us stand up to profess our faith. I believe in one God. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, c h i g a from c h i g a begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him, all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, w o r e incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, to serve for death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one. Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead in the life of the w o r l d c h i c k e n Amen. 
my dear brothers and sisters, our Lord calls us to follow Him. Let us therefore pray sincerely and be full of hope that our prayers will be heard according to His mercy. Let us pray. Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, may they lovingly take care of the people entrusted to them. Let us pray for them. Lord, bless our people. For the poor, especially those without shelter, may they feel our Lord's care. Let us pray for them. Lord, bless your people. For those who are astray, especially our brothers who do not believe in our Lord, may their minds be opened to the Lord. Let us pray for them. Lord, bless your people. For the people of God gathered here, may love remain in our hearts in obedience to the Lord's command. Let us pray. Lord, bless your people. Father, you are our strength and our refuge. May we be continuously right so we can sincerely follow you. This we ask through Christ our Lord. <laughs>